Time now for a Western Mass News exclusive. A local Springfield family breathing a sigh of relief after a scary situation. Earlier in the week, they say someone broke into their home and stole four young bulldog puppies. On Wednesday night, Springfield police found all of them. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live in Springfield with the details. Audrey. The family says that the four puppies were taken before they were even four weeks old, far too young to be away from their mother. Now, animal experts and those who work in the animal care field say that puppy theft is not uncommon. My littlest little girl, six years old, she goes, Mommy, the door's open. Returning home from a Christmas shopping trip on Sunday night, Liza Garcia says her family noticed something was wrong with their Springfield home. My son's window was wide open. Garcia says video games, jewelry, and other items were stolen, but all of that went out of her mind when one of her children made a horrible discovery. Then the other one screams, all oh, the puppies are gone. Four bulldog puppies, all three weeks old, had vanished, leaving the family anguished. I was crying. Uh, please, they need their mom. Garcia says all four puppies were all set to go to new homes once they were old enough. It broke me that I was going to have to break friends of mine hearts and tell them that their dogs were missing. Garcia called the Springfield police who got to work on the case. In the meantime, she posted the dog's pictures on Facebook and got a huge response. More than 51,000 shares. These dogs went viral. Like, it's no joke. You're going to get caught. On Wednesday night, a Christmas miracle. Three of the puppies were recovered in Springfield, and another one in West Springfield. Springfield police couldn't say much because it's still an ongoing investigation. But Western Mass News spoke with the executive director of the Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Control and Adoption Center. Pam Peebles says pet owners with young animals need to be on alert. In a blink of an eye, they could be gone because there's a desperate market for uh, puppies and kittens in particular right now. Peebles says because of Massachusetts's animal welfare policies, the number of homeless pets has been going down, which is a good thing. And due to COVID-19, with more families staying at home. So many people want an animal now. They have time and energy. Two good scenarios that she says are bringing out scams and pet theft. Peebles says if you're in the market for a new four-legged family member, do your research and only adopt or purchase from a reputable seller. If it seems too easy to get a cute little puppy or kitten, there may not even be a puppy or kitten behind that advertisement. She says it's especially important to look at the age of the animal. If someone is selling or rehoming younger than eight weeks, that should be a screaming red flag. As for the Garcias, they say their other stolen items can be replaced. We're happy to have the puppies back. Peeble says one other important thing to do if you're interested in buying a pet from a breeder or from a seller is to do research into testimonials from other people who have gotten a pet from that same breeder or seller because she says that's another good way to know if their network is a reputable one. Reporting live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.